There was something that God showed me um, the early hours of this morning. I don't know if I should even say it, but I'll try to hide my words so that uh, it's a very serious issue and we need to pray. We need to pray for Nigeria, we need to pray for Africa. All right? There is a spirit of sexual perversion that has been released and it's coming strong into the continent of Africa I was praying towards the early hours I think maybe between 3 or 4 a.m. and in the vision I saw the governor of a state this is a prophecy alert now and the governor was standing and I saw some group of people standing in front of him. And where he was standing was like the boundary of the state that he was governing. So he was telling them, go and seek approval from the government before you come here. And this set of people, uh, I don't want to call, I don't want to mention what they call them. But these are, you know, there's a set of people who, um, who are inverse in their sexuality. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Uh huh. They use letters to mention them. Uh huh. So, it happened to be that they were these people. I want us to pray based on what the Lord showed me in that vision. There's a spirit of sexual perversion that has been released over the continent of Africa specifically to target certain nations. And I'll mention the nations for you. To target Uganda, Kenya, South Africa, Ghana, and Nigeria. And the attack for Nigeria is stronger. And while I was in that vision, I saw somebody that looked like a man but he was naked and he was like he was married to a pillar you know a pillar pillar so he was supposed to be a man but his organ was that of a woman you know they call that like that's like trans uh, I don't want to because, you know, international people are listening. So that I don't file lawsuits. And then, it happened to be that he was married to that pillar. And there was a decree from the kingdom of darkness that to force human beings to believe in this kind of perversion. There is a spirit that has been released over people who believe in that so that men can now conceive and be pregnant so the man all of a sudden became pregnant but while i was looking in the spirit god gave me laser visions and i saw that what was in his stomach was a spirit not a child but he appeared like he was pregnant so it now became convincing on people that man can marry man and conceive are you hearing what I'm saying? So I want us to pray. I want us to stand against because the West will do nothing or, or will not rest until they pressurize Africa into accepting that. Those of you who watch the news, recently the vice president of a great country visited Africa and was giving aid to different countries 100 million dollars aid financial assistance but they didn't give to nigeria all right and um, i think there was a problem there was a president of another country in west africa who spoke against you know the gay so this is there's a battle going on 
they are going to bring more money to tempt our leaders to tempt our government it's going to be a pressure to bring it in and god said if that spirit enters africa and prevails it will corrupt the revival fire that god is rekindling in africa and it may it may attempt to destroy what you are supposed to call the end time revival because if africa miss it the program of god is that it will happen from africa so that spirit has come to corrupt the mantles that will go from here to other nations so may the lord give us understanding and i, I call us to pray all believers everywhere even africans that are in diaspora i want you to pray all right our fight is not against any country or any government our fight is against that spirit it is a decree the lord showed me i was privileged by the lord to see it was a decree from the kingdom of darkness it is released you've not seen anything yet fibroid was the first uh manufacturing from the kingdom of darkness of that kind of pregnancy this one is going to be strange the scan will not show anything but the person will be pregnant and be showing all signs of pregnancy so a woman will marry a woman and will take in a man will marry a man and will take in and the people will now become convinced that l dash 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 is is good and is real in fact satan will try to push it into the church so much so that ordained people will fall victim of it but by the power that is in the name of jesus and by the authority of the word of god in isaiah 8 verse 10 it says speak the word and it shall not stand take counsel and it shall come to naught we declare that spirit will have no place in africa it will have no place in nigeria hold your hands with your neighbor let's pray for two minutes let's pray and forbid that manifestation forbid that attack say no to it It shall not stand. The decree of the methods and the pressures shall not stand. We bind the principality of perversion. We bind the demon of sexual immorality. We come against you in the name of the Lord. We stand on behalf of the church to say no to it. It will not stand. Our government will not accept it. It's not a good place in our society.